avons décidé de reporter d'un an ton entrée à l'école, de nous exiler loin du Québec et de nos vies d'hyperactifs pour nous consacrer à notre intérêt. Hi, friend from Asperla del Mar. Today I'm here with the director of Alfie of the Stars or Alfie de las Estrellas. And his name is Hugo Latupil. And thank you for being here at Las Perlas del Mar today. Thanks very much. Well, tell us about this film. Actually, we got uh, from the National Film Board. They sent us all the previews of the screens that they were uh, uh, presenting here in the Hog Dogs. Yeah. And I had the chance to see this amazing documentary. Can you tell us about it? Well, it's, it's a bit of a film about speed, speed in our world, because I had the chance to receive this child from I don't know where <laughs> that is doing everything in this world slower than everybody. So we we kind of had to adapt our life to her her pace and we decided for for one year to get out of our life our crazy life in downtown Montreal to live in this little village at her speed. So it's this film like many films I believe is, is a kind of mirror uh, where we see our world, our society going so fast, being so uh, obsessed with productivity and efficiency. But Alfe is nothing like efficiency or producti productive. She's not a productive human being. <laughs> so um, in this film, actually, how is she doing? Because I know like at the end of the film, like you talk a little bit about her, like how is she doing right now? She's, she's very well. She's in grade one now, and she's doing it at her speed again. And at the moment we we respect the speed and the teacher do and the people are sensitive to it everything's fine but um, at this other moment where we uh, expect from her that she follows the rules and and the speed of our world then it starts to, to go bad so we try to respect her rhythm and uh, She's always happy anyway. And at the beginning of every day, she knocks at our door and she's like, all right, another day. <laughs> so can you tell us about uh, this in this documentary? What was the special part of it to making it? Like what was so important for you to make this documentary and tell people stories about uh, your daughter and people with special uh, genetic disease? Yeah, well, I thought our daughter was kind of a film character because she carries this very particular energy she's very energetic and she is really here and now and that's a quality we, we kind of lose in our world so I, I, I tried to document this very difficult thing to document um, and also maybe on my point of view or for me I, I wanted this film to to say things that I forget myself in my own life and that she carries that she's she's saying in just in the way she's incarnated in this world so yeah I don't know if I answer your, your question uh, for sure so the photography can you tell us how difficult it was because it was only two uh, cameramen that are mentioned in the movie uh, to go around the Alpes in France and how was it uh, the production of this film doing it yourself and there was two sides of this. There was this intimacy that is the ver very difficult to film and document in a true way. So I did this part pretty much. That is maybe 80% of the footage. And then there's a 20% that we shot in more theater setups of beautiful Switzerland. So I wanted, I wanted this film to be a fable in a way, a fable about our world, our society. Um, a tale in a way so Switzerland is perfect for this and I had a, 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 an amazing crew coming from Montreal just to do these amazing shots in the mountains to because Alfie is kind of floating upon our world in, in her in her head and in her everyday life so I wanted to express this with film material so that's why we fly a lot in this film we're up high in the sky sometimes and what do you think, uh, did you ever think about her uh, watching this film uh, when she's like a grown-up? Of course, it was my first public, I would say. I was always thinking of this, Alfie at 18 years old, 20 years old, what would she think of this and that? So that was my first refer reference. I wanted her to like the film, but also to represent her well. So it had to be very smiley and positive because that's how she is. Adults looking upon her are uh, stressed and negative sometimes and discriminating, but she's just happy. So the film had to be happy in a way. So it's a very feel-good movie in a way, even if the proposition is about a supposedly sick person. But uh, 
I think it's a very smiley film. Well, thank you so much for being here today. Well, friends from Las Perlas del Mar, remember to watch this film here, Alfie of the Stars, Alfie de las Estrellas, in this Hot Dogs 2013. Thank you. Hola, Las Perlas, amigos. Uh, well, I invite you to this film. There's one more screening Saturday. And now we are 13 on the, for the Audience Award at Hot Dogs, and we want to go up. So we, we want you in this room uh, Saturday. Welcome. Ma petite chérie, nous avons décidé de reporter d'un an ton entrée à l'école, de nous exiler loin du Québec et de nos vies d'hyperactifs pour nous consacrer à notre intuition. Un difficile, je pense que tu le sauras pas celui-là. Chaudière. commence au début. Un, Un deux. Nous t'avons inscrite à la prématernelle du village, rien que pour voir comment ce serait. Nous ne savons toujours pas grand-chose de la trajectoire qui nous attend. Mais à force de puiser à ton puits, nous avons compris que les forces savent s'aligner parfaitement pour nous permettre d'être ici, ensemble. Et c'est déjà une grande victoire.